We have such a patient and loving father. And we just act like spoiled little brats wanting to do it our way. And it's a tragedy. Think of God and all his majesty and glory. And he shows it to us every day in the created world around us, the world he created, and the stars and the heavens, the planets, and everything in nature from the mountains to the trees to every little creature that crawls upon the earth. There is something of God, his beauty and glory reflected in everything. And what do we do? We run after the world. We run after the baubles, the meaningless, superficial, shallow, glittering baubles that will lead us to hell. Can you imagine what the heavenly Jerusalem is like compared to, say, the glitter and plastic of Las Vegas? Ashes compared to that. It's nothing. It's fake. And yet, what do we go after? The world. The trinkets. The nothingness. Or we pursue some person. A beautiful woman. Or a hero. A superhero. Some athlete or something that we look up to. And we place God with that. Insanity. It's insanity. Oh, I did it. I did it. I, I'm guilty of it. Some poster of um, um, Jose Canseco or something on my wall or, or the bottle, the God in the bottle, the demon in the bottle, and it is. It is. Don't think you can control it. It will end up controlling you. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a teetotaler for people who can enjoy a glass of wine or a beer. I don't mean that. I'm saying these things, when they consume our lives, are false gods. Gods are not a statue uh, representing uh, Jesus like the big statue in Rio de Janeiro. That's not an idol. It represents Jesus Christ. So don't, don't call that an idol. An idol is something in our heart that takes the place of God and it's blasphemy and it will send us to hell. Oh, it can even be, it can even be a pet. I remember obsessing over a pet and that pet was taken away because I needed to realize that God <laughs> is jealous of everything, anything in our lives that takes the place of him. And how embarrassing when you realize how small and nothing it is compared to the almighty God. But he's so patient, so kind and merciful, keeps giving us a chance to repent, to realize what our idols are. And there are many. Money, a security, a false sense of security. Security can become a god. When, oh, I have to have this job, I have to have this, I have to have this in order to feel safe. God makes us safe. God provides. But we don't pay any attention to that. Are not are not five sparrows worth more? Uh, are, are you not worth more than, sorry, are you not worth more than five sparrows? I mean, come on. Our choices are feeble when we do not put God first, when we put anything before God and yes in this time that can even include prepping to the point where we don't we're going to rely on ourselves and not God can become an idol everything can anything that comes before God is an idol anything we bow down to even a man even this mandate even this thing that they want to put in you that can become the most horrific God, can't it? So we have to remove all idols from our lives which lead to sin, which is sin, and seek 
God alone, and then he will provide all that we need.